Hey, this is Polyphonic Video Blog number 20, I believe. Um, and uh, into the home stretch. Uh, it's the end of the semester now, uh, my final semester of a doctorate. Um, in the fall, I'll be taking qualifications exams, which are always enjoyable to all of those you who are interested. Qualifications, also sometimes called comprehensive exams. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I mean, it was long road. I'm obviously excited. Unfortunately, there's been some issues at my university, um, which can't really get into just this second because I'm not exactly sure what it is, but, um, about some, you know, some faculty switchings and, uh, that's something that we all have to deal with, particularly at the doctoral level, um, because you have to, assign, you have to have a committee together and when faculty members, either leave or retire, or uh, my well, one of my academic advisors, a uh, music ed faculty member, uh, was not offered tenure, and so uh, she was let go. Uh, it leads to some very, very uh, difficult times in terms of planning, because now as a result, it's some of my uh, qualifications exams, I'm going to have professors in there I've never taken a class with, and they're going to be asking me questions about my comprehensive doctorate program. Um, so, that'll be interesting. But enough of the blathering. Uh, as you can see, I'm on the road again. I'm, uh, teaching one of my students, and, uh, one of the things I don't think I've covered yet is a, a market that a lot of people tend to kind of look, maybe not necessarily look down on, but they talk a lot about, uh, um, working with adult students. And it's, it's a really, really enjoyable thing. Uh, I have a couple adult students, uh, and actually one of my favorite students between um, high school, junior high, beginning, actually he's my favorite, is an adult student, um, and uh, he's a retired dean of psychiatry, uh, go figure that that would lead someone to play the horn, um, and uh, the thing that I really find most enjoyable about adult students is that while they may not necessarily, um, you know, have the, 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 the um, same executive abilities. Um, I've taught a lot of, uh, uh, um, adult students that are pretty, pretty up there in age. Um, they're doing it because they want to, and because they want to spend their time doing something that they love doing. And there's just something about that. And that's one of the important things about teaching is you can learn something from every single student you have, no matter how good of a player you are, no matter if you're playing, you know, principal, you know, in Concert Gabao, or, you know, if if you're really taking the time to teach, everyone can teach you something, and I find that, honestly, a lot of the best players I've ever met um, kind of think that same thing, where, where they'll hear somebody, you know, they'll hear a, you know, a fourth grader play something, and they're like, wow, you know, it's it's one of those things where you always hear the phrase, you know, play this piece like it's the, the last time you ever get a chance to play it, and um, one of my former teachers really kind of laughed at that, and, and would always say, no, you should play it like it's the first time you've ever had the chance to play it, because there's just something about that kind of that excitement, it's a, you know, um, you know, my roommate and I, we're both horn, we're both horn players, we're talking about Muller 1, and, and it's just, you know, we're like, wow, we've played this piece a lot, and it's a great piece, but... There's just something about with adult students that they could be doing, you know, Coprosh Etude Number no. Seven, and you know they're really working their tail off. And when they finally get it, they really get that kind of sense of accomplishment. So that's one thing that I really kind of want to stress to people is, you know, teaching adult students can be a really enjoyable experience. And um, you know, at the same time, it can also be there are some uh, issues you can run into uh, where. You know, they might just flat out say, nah, I didn't practice it. And at least it's, at least they're honest about it. Uh, you know, it's not like pulling teeth with kids. Um, and, and sometimes they'll disagree, they'll flat out disagree with you. And it's just a different situation. And how you deal with that is obviously very, very different from how you deal with it. If you're getting that kind of talk back from, from younger students. For example, this student that I'm teaching is twice my age. Actually, almost two and a half times my age. And he has a lot more life experience, but when it comes to playing the horn, he may not necessarily know what what to do, but he is very familiar with his body, and he, he knows, well, I can't breathe that way. And so you get, start getting creative and trying to figure out ways to, 
you know, your, your vernacular changes, your approach changes. Um, I honestly, I feel the rapport is fantastic with, with all of my adult students. Um, because they just want to be there, and, you know, they, it's, it's not their, you know, their parents aren't shelling out the money for the lessons, and it's a really, really great experience, so it's one thing I really would urge people to look into is most, maybe not necessarily major, like all, all cities, but a lot of big cities will have, uh, doctor's symphonies, will have, uh, kind of, you know, community bands, and just go out there and play sometime, and, you know, you know, just make some connections, and sometimes you'll be, be surprised, I was actually kind of surprised how competitive some of these um, adult students are uh, with other adult students and their community band, but it's one of these things where they're doing it because they love to, and I would really, really encourage all of you to, to check out teaching adult students, whether it's through your local university, continuing education, um, if it's through like a community college, uh, because there, there can be some really great, great friendships that you can forge from that. So anyway... Um, yeah, I'm out of the hospital. Woo. Uh, I had pneumonia for a while, so sorry I'm a little behind. I'll get caught up, but I uh, hope you're all doing well.